In a significant development, President of the Interim Administration in Tigray, Getacho Roda, engages in discussions with the delegation of ministers from the Ethiopian government led by Ministry of Women and Social Affairs, Dr. Argo Getesfai. In a recent address, President Getacho expresses gratitude for the provided aid in an attempt to address the unfolding famine in the region, stressing the need for a collaborative effort to combat this pressing issue. During the discussion, the President underscores the minister's crucial role to facilitate the return of IDPs in Tigray. Tigray, Maliso, Lamagambat, Ahonkan, and Bachigalamat at Bamidarag and Kasakasi. One name of Timmy Matau, he hit a Jamroyal Louis Salam Hidet, and Sarah Nonam and Lobo Hulamaka, which is Fafto. The key to Tigray reconstruction lies in the widespread and deeply reinforced implementation of the peace process across all the entire region. I want to convey sincere thanks both personally and on behalf of the interim administration for your initiative in joining us to alleviate our hardship. The current support, while appreciated, cannot fully alleviate the profound suffering experienced by the people of Tigray. And yet, being present here will offer you a comprehensive insight into the gravity of the persisting issue. Particularly, visiting IDP camps provides you with an opportunity to grasp a fraction of the challenges and the hardship they are facing. Tigray is not an only region marked by extensive distress destruction and loss of lives for hundreds of thousands. It is also a place where hundreds of thousands have been forced out of their homes. As you witness it in the IDP camps, it was evident that your presence brought joy and comfort to those residing there. While words may fall short in capturing their suffering, your visit to the camps holds a substantial importance in highlighting their plight and working towards a lasting solution. In the discussion, the Ministry of Women and Social Affairs, Dr. Argo Getesva, highlights the profound impact of the war on vulnerable groups. She stresses on the government's responsibility to support the people, underlining the crucial role of the community to collaborate in efforts needed to rebuild and uplift the affected region. <laughs> First, we are delighted to be part of this official visit to Tigray. There are certain socio-economic concerns raised especially by IDP sheltering in camps. In a war zone, it's obvious that children, women, elders, and people with disabilities are vulnerable as we witnessed in IDP camps. We know that it is the responsibility of the federal government to facilitate the recovery and rehabilitation of this group, and the community at large should also cooperate with the federal and regional government in an attempt to accelerate the process. In a heartfelt plea for a return to their home, an IDP shares a distressing account of their misery to the delegates shedding light on the harsh realities faced daily. The IDP recounts the challenge of living in an uncertain conditions, emphasizing the urgent need for attention and assistance from the concerned authorities. <laughs> The suffering of the people displaced from Western Tigray is unimaginable. They are nostalgic about their homes, their relatives who fled to Sudan, and their sons and daughters who were massacred on the onset of the war. These people are in a grave danger. We are in a very dear situation. Pregnant mothers and women in general are facing terrible challenges. Mothers can't even breastfeed their infant due to starvation. Children are starving to death. There are also Oedipus who died due to lack of medication in either referral hospital. I can articulate my misery in words. We are sheltering under a tent where the biting cold, relentless wind and hunger make our situation even more challenging. We haven't had aid for the past 10 months. We ask you to help us. We are each we are citizens. We urge you to stand by us and show us human compassion during these difficult moments.